Hey Cancers, welcome to my channel, Revolution. Welcome guys, I'm so happy to have you here. So uh, guys, today I'm going to be doing your reading. This is a timeless reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Alright, so uh, Cancer, as I was uh, kind of getting into your energy, what I was getting is that one second i'm just getting a message yeah so what i was getting in uh, when i was getting into your energy is that you know um there's some gossip going on okay uh this could be gossip regarding your family members maybe there's a lot of gossip within your family that's going on or it's you gossiping about your mother your mother gossiping about you or something on those lines it seemed very personal to you Okay, so whenever you watch this, this is a timeless reading, it may relate with you, okay? And guys, if I call you Cancer, then you could be the cross-watcher who's watching for Cancer. Alright, so take it how it relates. But um, yeah, I was seeing some gossip energy uh, in the air for you guys, okay? And this could be regarding something very personal, maybe your personal finances that people are gossiping about or a mother-daughter dynamic or a father-daughter dynamic, okay? Something on those lines was what I was getting. Alright, so let's dive into it, my loves. Let's see what's coming up for you guys. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Guys, please do comment, like, share, subscribe. And if you want a personal reading with me, all the details are given in the description box below. Alright, so let's see. What's coming up for Cancers? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. One second. Alright. So let's see. What's coming up for Cancer? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Oh, yes. Look at that. So we have grief here. Okay. It says... I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it, okay? Okay, Cancer, this could be that you have lost someone in your family, someone close to you. My condolences. Um, I'm sorry if you have lost someone in your family due to health concerns or something on those lines and you're grieving their loss in some way or this could be someone else as well who has lost someone and who is close to you in your vicinity, okay? But yeah, this could be another person that you're dealing with uh, who you have broken up with and uh, you're kind of grieving the loss of this person because you are missing their, um, you're missing their presence in your life in some way, right? Or this could be the other person as well, okay? Take it how it relates, guys, because it's a general reading for cancers. All right, let's see. What's coming up for cancers whenever they're watching this? judgment yeah so this is regarding your past okay this could be a scorpio that you were dealing with okay or an aries also is what i'm getting but um yeah there's a sense of um i i feel like cancer you have someone around you who judges you whenever you're grieving okay so it could be like you are grieving someone's loss or you are grieving the fact that you um you know you're basically detoxing your system by letting go of the emotions and I feel like there's someone around you who judges you for doing that or who judges you for being, you know, uh, empathy, right? Who judges you for being em empathetic towards people or who judges you for being emotionally intelligent and caring and nurturing towards other people, I feel like, okay? Because you usually can see both sides of the situation and you are intensely loyal towards uh, people who... Uh, you know are close to you in some way okay so I feel like there's someone who is judging you because you're grieving over someone okay this seems like a very negative influence around you yes adversity yeah and this person judges you because they don't feel good enough for you in some way cancer it's like they feel like they are um, maybe financially not at the same level as you okay and they feel like you have it better in in life okay you have better wealth you have better health or i don't know something on those lines and this person feels like they are um 
they are not financially well off like you are and this causes them to kind of you know uh, judge you based on that okay and this is very petty i know guys but um there's something that i'm getting for you okay and they still persevere with those feelings because they feel like they are right in whatever they are thinking right yeah so let's dive into the tarot my loves let's see what's going on here if you're dealing with any financial problems my loves don't judge yourself for that don't um criticize yourself you know you could get moody based on your financial uh you know financial aspects in life maybe if you're not doing well financially you could take it out on other people or other people would be taking out on it out on you because they are not doing financially well okay so just keep that in mind okay um, and try to come at it with empathy rather than um you know coming at it with anger so let's see what's come what, what's what's cancer's energy please tell me yeah strength you might be dealing with a leo or you are a cancer cancer leo cusper okay but yeah you are having to have a lot of uh willpower through this situation through this whatever you're going through with your family members or this could be anyone you know your work situation you are having to tame your inner beast in some way okay maybe hold back a lot of your anger hold back a lot of your rage okay like you're not reacting even though you should like within this situation but you're not lashing out okay you're reacting in a very calm manner you are not uh, lashing out at people is what i'm getting okay yeah that's amazing i mean even though you're grieving cancer i feel like in the past you um ho you held yourself back here okay and ace of pentacles okay so this is something that uh, arrived towards you okay you received uh, a brand new beginning from someone but you are trying to keep it on the low okay maybe you're not sharing it with other people or um whatever financial gains that you are receiving now you have finally realized that whenever you share it it's like people start getting jealous of you or they start feeling like they are inferior to you right and that um, you know they should have what you're having so you have learned to uh, keep quiet when you are uh, you know gaining financially in some way be it whatever amount that you're gaining all right so one second all right let's see so yeah that's what i'm seeing here tell me about cancer what's coming up for my cancerians all right three of cups in reverse yeah like i said right this is your card so uh, you feel like you're not emotionally supported when it comes to you being um you uh Uh, regarding your finances especially but also emotionally you don't feel supported by your friends you feel like there's a lot of gossip around you about you about your family or um about how you are emotionally coping with the situation if you are in financial difficulty a lot of people have chatty mouth when it comes to your um money and your relationship or whatever it is okay the wheel in reverse yeah you you just presently feel like because of this whole situation that you have had to tame yourself and you have been um you have not been um on talking terms with your friends maybe close friends best friends okay because you don't feel supported you feel like this is such an uh, unfortunate situation for you okay my loves but this is something that the destiny is bringing towards you for you to learn how to be by yourself okay how to be um a sovereign and not depend on other people's validation for who you are as a person cancer okay that's what you're learning here that um no matter who it is um, they are not going to appreciate you until you learn to appreciate yourself first okay so that's what you're learning here that's why the wheel is in reverse i feel like also there's a past situation that is coming back in your life uh, a past person who is wanting to start a relationship with you but you just don't feel connected with them anymore you just cannot trust them anymore is what i feel okay because you are already grieving about what had happened in the past where you know um, maybe they left you hanging you know when you wanted to have a stable beginning with them they left you hanging so now you feel like you know the wheel is turning and now you are having to accept them back and you don't feel like anymore 
right? That's what I'm getting here. Tell me what's coming up for my Cancerians. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Moon. Yeah, so I feel like you are slowly and methodically moving forward. I also feel like there's someone, uh, a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn who is wanting to come towards you. Okay, um, and they're slowly moving towards you because... Uh, they feel like they are going through a lot of adversity at the moment. They feel a little bit insecure um, to come towards you. But they are moving slowly and methodically because uh, they want forgiveness for what they have done to you in the past. Okay. Whoever this person is. Now this could be the person that I was picking up when they are gossiping about you and things like that. This could be that person or this could be a, a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Okay. Also I am getting Leo. Yeah, Leo strongly. This could be you as well. Um, but you, you are wanting to kind of get over this um, feeling of adversity, okay, Cancer? Like you don't want to feel like um, you are lacking anything anymore, right? And if you are feeling like that, stop judging yourself based on that and start working on the solutions, okay, Cancer? Because once you do that, once you focus your mind on the solutions, that's when you will bring all the uh, positivity in your life. You will manifest it back, right? Yeah, five of cups. There's a lot of grief. There's a lot of sadness is what I'm getting because of um, things not going your way, okay? And you just feel trapped inside. You feel trapped um, in the situation. But I just feel like you need to realize that this challenge is only teaching you how to be stronger and um, even more determined, okay? And even more passionate about what you are here to do. What's your life purpose here? right and to make you persevere through it justice beautiful justice is on, on your side cancer okay so anything legally that you are trying to do and you feel like there's a fog in your head about some legal situation that you're going through be it regarding your house your marriage or your relationship anything on those lines kindly consult someone who uh, is better off uh, with these things with legal terms and technical terms on those lines right yeah that's what I'm getting here. Beautiful. So, and I also feel like anyone that gave you any form of grief cancer, anyone that made you feel less than or because you were empathetic towards them, they, they took advantage of the fact that you really felt for them. I feel like they are going to get their karma, okay? Because I get five of cups and justice here, okay? So I, I feel like you will move on with someone who you really, really love and this person is on the same wavelength as, as you and this person is going to be crying over spilt milk over the fact that they took advantage of you and that they, they will grieve over that, okay? Or whoever it is that is gossiping about you behind your back, behind your personal relationships with your family and things like that. This person is going to go through worst. That's what I'm getting here with Justice Card. Yeah, so you keep moving on and don't, um, you know, don't think about, um, like, is this person going to get revenge? Like, I am I going to get revenge because this person did this to me? Am I going to see them receive their karma or things like that? Just don't go on the, that line, okay? Make sure that you are positive, okay? Because a lot of good things are coming towards you, okay? And make sure if financially you're moving slowly. Like, don't uh, speed or don't try to rush any financial decision right now okay because the times are a little bit uh you know tough but they are going to move around slowly okay so make sure you're taking your time to invest in um your financial goals okay don't rush into anything because that will only cause a lot of further arguments between your family and you know because they see themselves as um a bit lo like on the lower end than you okay they see you as more abundant so they try to gossip about you because of that all right so let's get an advice for you guys my loves what is the advice for cancer pertaining to the spread what is the advice for cancer pertaining to the spread release the dark wound cancer the dark wound is the grief that i was picking up on because of the loss of another person and it's that brooding, okay? This could be you losing them to the ethers. Maybe they are not living anymore because of certain health conditions. This could be a lover that you have lost. This could be a child that you have had to lose, okay? 
any form of grief that you are holding within yourself, it's time to release it now. Yeah? What does it say? Release the dark wound. Let love live. Okay? And this is literally the number seven, okay, which is after, before uh, the strength card. So this is chariot. This is being triumphant through the hardest times in your life. And that is cancer card as well. So look at the advice. It's apt for you. Release any dark wound that is living within you, okay? That's how you will be able to move forward into a better financial future for you and your family, my loves, okay? So I hope this relates with you. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting for you. And I also feel like there's someone new that's coming in towards you. Okay? But your heart needs to be open for that. So open your heart, Cancer. And let the old wounds die. Okay, my loves, I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in and let me know in the comments how you like this reading. Bye. Peace.